Hi, welcome to day 25 of 31 days of Halloween. I am so excited, but I'm also getting a little stressed because I have so many characters that I want to do and not a lot of days left to do them. So, um, there might be two videos a day for a few days in the coming week. Who's to say? I don't know what's going to happen. You don't know what's going to happen. Who knows what's going to happen? But uh, yes, today's look is really simple, really easy. There are ways to take this to the next level and make it more intricate and detailed. But similarly to yesterday's video where I said, you know, not every person, like I still have makeup all over me from the past like month. Um, not everybody wants to go above and beyond for their makeup creations. So today I will be doing Coraline. So uh, yeah, first things first, grab a glue stick or whatever method you prefer to use to block out your eyebrows. Okay, now that your eyebrows that you desperately need to get done and have not been done since, oh, I don't know, quarantine started, um, now that they are shoved all the way straight up against your forehead and you're looking like an alien freak, real cute, real pretty, you are now going to cake your face with foundation and try to hide the darkness of the eyebrows. You know what I really should have done is at the beginning of this month just shaved off my eyebrows. So, uh, I'm gonna go do my base and I'll be right back and we'll do the face paint stuff together. Do I look beautiful? Living my alien vibes. Now I have my James Charles artistry palette and I am just going to go into to start just like a very nude based brown. Can you even see this color? This this bad boy right here. Tap off some excess. I have my little mirror here and I am going to draw her worried brows. I'm starting with the lighter color um, just so in case I make any little mistakes. Now that I have the base layer down, I'm going to start going in with a darker brown. First shade of brown that we had originally used, I'm just taking it on like a flat kind of fluffy brush and I'm just gonna shade a little bit contour my eye just a smidge. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other eye and then we'll add the freckles. Take a very light brown eyebrow pencil or a light brown eyeliner or light brown eyeshadow. Uh, today I'll be using a mix of eyebrow pencil and eyeshadow and you're just gonna, I'll get right up in your business. Apply a little bit of pressure. Just start dotting your face in very random patterns. Tap the ones out that are a little too dark. Go back in with the pencil brush that I used for my eyebrows. Not picking up any new color. It's just still dirty. And I'm gonna add some more freckles. I'm just gonna draw her fake smile with eyeshadow first. She has like baby pink lips. So I'm gonna add a little bit of baby pink lips. I'm gonna add a little bit of blush on my pretty little cheeks. And uh, then we'll be back for, oh, and glue on the buttons and add the wig. And I might throw on, I'm gonna throw on a rain jacket. It's not gonna be yellow, I apologize. Uh, but I'll throw something on. I thought about body painting a jacket on, but you guys are sick of seeing me body paint clothes on to me, I'm sure, at this point. Um, but yeah, I'll go do those final touches, and then we'll be right back for the final reveal. I'm Coraline Jones. Okay, guys, this is the final look. Swoop those things back. Ooh, I can actually see pretty darn good because I got such big buttons with the holes in the center so I can actually see relatively well uh, I just got these out of Joann's fabrics that's it that's it. why am I not hating the blue hair though is the real question and why am I not hating the short hair oh my gosh it might be time for a very drastic change in my life what do we think 
Do you agree? I do not have her type of cap that would really make the look. I got the wig off Amazon for like 12 bucks, maybe 15, but I think it was only 12 bucks the wig. Also, I, I um, ended up using eyelash glue to put the um, buttons on my eyes just because I got a little nervous putting Prosaid or Spirit Gum, like one of the stronger adhesives, so close to my eyeball. You certainly could. I just, mm, like, I, I was, in my mind, I was like, let me try to do lash glue first, and if that doesn't work, then I'll be very careful and do the stronger adhesives. But lash glue ended up working. I would say if I was, like, actually going to wear this out to a party or something, I would definitely um, use a stronger glue, though, because I keep finding myself, like, making sure they're stuck on. Uh... But yeah, I can I could wear this out. I can see pretty well, so I, I would be able to wear this out. Wouldn't drive with these on my eyes. I would not drive, but I would go with a friend in the passenger seat, and I could see at the park. If you like this video, make sure you give it a big old thumbs up. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, and check out the 31 Days of Halloween's playlist here on this channel to play catch up and see all the videos you missed if you're new here. But yeah. I'm Sam, and I will see you guys right here tomorrow for another video. Let me know in the comments who I should be. Bye, guys. I want to be with my real mom and dad. You are not my mother. This wig is doing something to me.